Uh, hello, this is N.A. and Novak from CTLT and we will today try to share what we have worked with uh, Faculty of Forestry, Medicine and Arts and with Michael Cole from Public Affairs on uh, designing the WordPress plugin that will tackle an important issue of being able to manage user profiles in WordPress. And um, quickly, just to state the problem, uh, we have all these three big faculties facing the same issue of how to be able to manage the faculty administrative information, as well as their extended profile that would go into social networking space, as well as managing the publications for teaching and learning, and again, uh, being able to find an easy way within WordPress to, to enable administrators to create based on the local requirements for a given website, what, what's needed. Um, a couple of scenarios. You could think of it as, a, let's say, directory.arts.ubc.ca, where you store everyone in arts, and then by, by certain functionality, you would push certain faculty, staff, and researchers to, to subspaces, or you may think of just a single web space, let's say, English, and then have a directory just for the people that are in English. Uh, of course, we are trying to avoid rep repetition, and we are trying to make it really flexible for people to design these spaces. Uh, so NA has um, have done a couple of, of uh, basically wireframes on our whiteboard yesterday. We discussed it together, and we'll quickly walk through what we have, and and uh, in 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 a couple of minutes trying to to explain where we are at. So um, we'll start with. Uh, uh, I have to just try to zoom in here. So I have a bad picture here taken with the cell phone. I really wish I had my my proper camera. But here we go. So, uh, Annie, do you want to maybe share your thoughts on the on the first screen? I'll, I'll just give you a bit of an introduction. We are talking about administrative panels within WordPress that will be available only for administrators. <clears throat> so what we're trying to do is uh, create a framework that will allow administrators to create these profile uh, profiles and but to also allow them to have great uh, flexibility in what should be included in a profile and what shouldn't and so what we have come up with is a page where the administrator builds a builds a form that will be used by the end user to generate their profile which they would have to be, uh, which they would be responsible for keeping up to date and so on. So we have basically four main sections, and I'm mousing over them: profile, then we have uh, a profile form, profile page, a listing page, and and global settings for that particular website. So, uh, so and I here at the first screen, where we basically are defining uh, different fields that you have, that you can have, and we've discussed a, a possibility of hard coding, let's say X number of fields and then leaving the other fields open for administrators to add and remove. And then on the uh, here we have different taxonomies. Uh, how would you like to display that information? Just to give you an idea, for example, uh, here at the Faculty of Forestry, we have, um, I could just sort by professors and, and find them, or, or I could say like, uh, just show me the visiting faculty, and then I would see those guys and so on. Um, emergency medicine that were coming with a request through MedIT had a, a basically similar idea, but they will be location based. So for example, if you are in Victoria, you could see only the emergency medicine staff uh, through, through this. Um, so basically there are a number of requests, they're kind of similar and related, so it's really important to get all the parties with their requirements, and we had a fantastic meeting where we're pretty much we were able to actually agree on basic principles, and it seems that it's going to be a very doable project. So, so basically, uh, back to our screen. So, uh, taxonomies are defined here. So, any of you have uh, here different things like interest, location, groups, labels. You could have faculties, uh, visiting faculties, and so on. Yeah, and so you define these different labels like taxonomies are just a set 
sets of vocabulary that you use as filters. So, for instance, if you define a group taxonomy, you could say, well, we have different groups, so one of the groups is uh, working, uh, is, let's say, working on a very particular project, and so, per so people who are in that particular project would be able to check off, oh yes, I'm in this particular group, and so on the on the next screen, which is like a listing screen, you could see, uh, you could filter through, you could find the person based on him selecting that particular group and so on. But uh, so, okay, so basically, this is that form design and taxonomy design screen that we first uh, uh, talked about. Uh, the next screen is actually profile page. Uh, so here we have uh, basically a profile page builder. And NA, do you want to quickly walk us through this page? It's loosely based on the design of uh, a plugin called Chair Daddy, which was, the, which was created by Automatic, or like WordPress.com people. And what, they, what it allows you to do is basically drag and drop different parameters that we defined as fields in the form builder into particular positions which would help you generate the page on which uh, that shows you the particular faculty's profile or staff profile. So again the requirement here was really uh, making it super easy and we have an example of how do you define basically we are defining a UI here. So we are defining a view that will then faculty see. Again, all these screens are administrative screens in which they define the user interface for their staff and faculty. One of the big requirements was that uh, these profiles can be managed by the faculty and staff themselves, but they can also be managed by administrators in the office. And that's why they need to be very simple and very user friendly. Uh, so we are moving forward to the, the next page. Uh, so I'm going to just try to get a screen there. So now we are basically having a listing page, which is uh, similar to our... Similar experience, well, it, the, it would be a similar experience to the pro, like the profile builder page, where you take items that you want to display uh, in, in the list view, which is pretty much a list of all the users that are users uh, of all the profiles so it it's uh, a view that helps you generate this this loop which lists the, lists the different profiles so basically you can uh, have a specific need to show a specific page let's say certain research done in certain unit and based on your taxonomy if you have a research or, or visiting faculty for example you can generate those kind of views that you can just call them then from your page view uh, finally, we have a settings page, which is probably the most kind of uh, interesting page in, a, uh, in, in the kind of future development. Uh, so we have, uh, for example, a checkbox here requires strict, strict identity uh, match, which means that we would basically, if we check this, then only, then we, there would be a profile would always be associated with the user. Uh, that will uh, basically be great for most faculties and you would have one one match between the profile and the user. On the other hand, it might not work well for, let's say, faculty of medicine who have a lot of staff and a lot of people in, in various uh, places around the province who might not have ability to even like have CWL or to manage their information. So that's why we cannot have that for everyone. Another interesting one is allow UBC director integration and arts will work on this, on this, on this issue here, which is or on, uh, basically being able to pre-populate the information from your UBC directory. So if you log in, you would basically send a request with your information. It will talk to UBC directory and pre-populate all the basic fields, including mapping and all the other things that are very well done in UBC directory, while still opening up other parts, uh, open keeping the other parts so that you can edit additional fields that are not existing in UBC directory and then uh, allowing multiple profiles. Uh, so one person might have multiple profiles. So again, it's to the policy of the group for their website, whether they want to, to enable that or not. And then uh, enabling other people to access your profile. That means if, if you have a large unit and you want administrators to take care of people rather than people themselves, you can either allow or disallow that. And then we have another one here that we cannot really read, the third one. 
uh, allow subscribers to to have profiles? Oh, that's an interesting one. Basically, when we have uh, a site, let's say, where people can subscribe, you don't necessarily want them to be able to run their profile. Uh, but let's say if you have an event site there where people are, are speakers, then you may want to allow subscribers to have profiles. And then, of course, there will be important export settings. So we see this as a phase one. Uh, uh, and then next step would be adding kind of publications management. Again, we would look at essentially existing service like a directory to, to be able to do this uh, because every unit is having some sort of their own, their own version of this that, that might be six, uh, less or more successful or, or very often non-existent. Um, so in later phases, we'll probably uh, tackle those problems. So I guess uh, that's all for today. And thank you for listening.